Radio. So in this video, uh, I'm going to show you how to take the image that we've already cleaned up in Inkscape um, from the JPEG. We've used the path tool and traced the bitmap. Now we're going to uh, take this image and export it out of Inkscape, um, ready to import it into laser cutting, the laser cutting program, LaserWorks V5. Right, so I've got my um, cleaned up image of the panda here. You can see that the lines are nice and clean and the silhouette is nice and clean as well. We've removed all of that noise that we talked about. So now I'm going to go up to the file menu here and down about halfway I've got this one option called export bitmap. If I click that, it will bring up this menu. First thing you need to do is click the browse button here. That's going to allow you to choose where to save it to or export it to. So if I click browse, I'm just going to save it onto my desktop. So I can click desktop either here or I can select that from my no, nope, can't do that. Either here or double click the icon here. So I've clicked that. I'm just going to rename the file to um, Panda Export. Okay, you'll notice that it's saving as a PNG type rather than a JPEG. That's perfectly fine. That's what we want. Click Save. And then that's going to save it to that um, output destination. So now we just need to click Export and that will very quickly export it to that destination on the desktop. Rightio, and that's pretty much it. Um, next thing you need to do is open up um, LaserWorks V5 from the Start menu. Once we've got that open, we're going to import that uh, image in. So <clears throat> we export it out, which basically means to take out, export to take out, and now we're going to import in, which means to bring in. Pretty self-explanatory, really. So now we're going to go to the File menu here and down into Import or Control I, whatever you feel like. I just need to then go find my image on the desktop. If I scroll down here, I can see that I've got my Panda Export um, image here. And if I click Open, it'll bring it into the LaserWorks program there. And that's about it. Next video, I'll show you how to um, take that same image but save it as a DXF file um, and get it into laser cutting for a dip different option. Okay, cheers.